Hey guys, Sam here from Technologetic and today I thought I would look at two popular types of microphones that you might be using in your filming setup. Uh, I've got a shotgun microphone attached to the top, top of the camera about two meters away from me here. Then I've got a wireless lapel mic attached to my shirt. So why don't we get started? So the shotgun microphone I've got is an original Rode video mic which I have attached to the top of my Canon 6D here. Uh, it's sitting about two meters away and it's a shotgun microphone which means it has a very directional uh, field of listening. So I basically have to be straight in front of the microphone for it to actually pick up my voice and it won't and the idea is it cancels out sound from all around the sides and just picks up a little bit from the back in case of someone directly behind the microphone. Uh, on the other hand, I've got this omnidirectional lapel microphone here. So this picks up my voice, whether it's upside down or upright like it is now, pointing to the left or right, it'll pick up my voice evenly, and it'll also pick up voices of people around you. Um, so the idea of a lapel mic is you can use it like this, or you can put it underneath clothing or something, and it'll still be able to pick up your voice, and it'll be relatively close to the source, unlike the shotgun microphone, which is quite far away from me. Um, the disadvantage of this is you end up with a lapel microphone in your shot sometimes if you don't hide under clothes properly. And because it's such a small microphone, the audio response, particularly in terms of bass and lower frequencies, is uh, less. And also, on the other hand, this is way more expensive. Uh, the Rode video mic was like $100 to put on top of the microphone. You can easily put it on. Um, this whole wireless kit was about $400 and you've got to you know, put the lapel into someone's shirt and whatever. So it's a bit more of a hassle to set up. So we'll start off with the Canon 6D audio, um, just coming straight from the camera. This is what you'll be using before you pick up any audio uh, equipment or anything. Um, and basically, I would recommend um, upgrading to something else as soon as possible with your camera, because generally the inbuilt audio of the camera isn't great. It uses really tiny microphones. Um, and next, just for comparison, I'm going to go to the Tascam 70D, which has two stereo microphones in the front of it, which would be an upgrade from the uh, Canon 6D, but um, they're pretty omnidirectional and it's designed just to pick up noise from anywhere, which is the same as the Canon 6D, so they're probably not going to sound great. I'm in a pretty echoey environment here, which was intentional, um, so you can kind of hear how, how, how the microphones perform in this kind of environment. So next, I'm onto the Rode video mic, um, so that's sitting yeah, about two metres away from me. It's got a wind sock around it, not that it's windy in here, but it helps with um, plosives like p noises, um, and also wind obviously if you're outdoors, but I'm not here. And finally, I'm going to switch to the Rode Link Wireless Filmmaker Kit. I've got this little lapel mic connected, it runs down my shirt to a little receiver thing. Then there's another well, transmitter and then there's a receiver on top of the camera there. Um, I found this to be really good. You can put it, you know, up to 80 meters away and it still picks up sound, which is um, pretty impressive. So let me know which audio quality you thought was best. I'm going to predict it's going to be the lavalier microphone here just because I'm so far away from the camera. Uh, but you will get good results using the uh, Rode video mic if you're closer to your subject. Thanks for watching this video. If you're interested in more videos about um, DSLRs or audio recording, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe.